I'm John. I'm Heather. I'm Erica. And this is Sergeant. He'll be our assistant for today. We're doing a presentation to demonstrate the latent heat infusion. The latent heat infusion is defined as the heat energy required for a change in state between solid and liquid, also known as freezing and melting. The of latent heat infusion of water is 3.34 times 10 to the 5th joules per kilogram. Um, the experiment that we're about to do is one method you can use to find the value. The first step of this experiment is to heat 150 grams of water to 40 degrees. And ish. then, ish, and then pour it into the calorimeter. After you pour the water in your calorimeter, you have to dry off two ice cubes as to reduce the error from excess water. And then pour them into the calorimeter and immediately put the top back on and wait for the temperature to go down until it reaches equilibrium. Once the ice reaches equilibrium, we have to re-measure the um, cup and the water inside and then you subtract that from the values that you get from the measuring of the cup itself and the water beforehand in order to get the mass of ice. <laughs> Once you record all your data from the experiment, you plug it into this equation to solve for latent heat diffusion. First, you take the mass of the water and multiply that by the specific heat of water, which is 4,190, and then multiply that by the change in temperature of the water. Then you add the product of the mass of the cup times the specific heat of aluminum, which is 900, and the change in temperature of the water. And that equals the mass of the ice times the latent heat infusion plus the mass of the ice times the specific heat of water times the change in temperature of the ice. I should have equation. Once you plug in all your data into the equation and solve for latent heat diffusion, you should get an answer that's close to 3.34 times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram. Um, the only way that that might not be accurate is if you have sources of air, one of which might be um, if you don't dry off the ice completely, then it's not exactly at zero degrees because of the water that's on the outside of it. And also, another error could be if you leave the calorimeter, calorimeter open for too long when you put the ice in, a lot of heat might, might escape. Another error could be if you leave the calorimeter, calorimeter open for too long when you put the ice in, a lot of heat might, might escape. Yep. I said my escape. My, my. The latent heat diffusion of water is value. 